what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we shall discuss on astrology and mafia how astrology is like mafia stay tuned till the end if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it below and if you like this video then watch my other videos in the channel and if you are interested in doing some donation for the sustenance of the channel then the link to paypal is there in the comments all right astrology and mafia <laughs> well what is mafia mafia is the dawn in hindi as you say gunda mali <laughs> why am i calling astrology as the mafia <laughs> actually astrology is not mafia it is like the mafia what what is the meaning of mafia mafia is the group where once you enter you cannot leave yes because the problem is you know too much <laughs> either you will not want to leave or either the people who are there with you they will not let you leave yes that's the same with astrology <laughs> because if you come to astrology astrology is what basically it is the eighth house eighth house is what eighth house the house of uh, secrecy it's the house of occult it's the house it's the core house of astrology is the house of secret knowledge divine knowledge actually it's the beginning of knowledge actually it is also the loss of divine knowledge because it is 12th from the ninth house of divine knowledge but eighth house is the place where the knowledge starts because eighth house is 12th from the ninth house what is 12th house 12th house is the feet the body part 12th house is the feet so ninth house is your guru your guides your preceptors so the feet of your guru is the eighth house and that is why they say that knowledge comes from the feet of the guru that means to start spirituality to reach the ninth house you have to begin from the eighth house yes therefore eighth house is the beginning of occult knowledge and astrology is also a part of it that means eighth house which is originally the house of scorpio which is ruled by mars and especially ketu is the house of astrology and eighth house is the dark house which means once you get inside it you cannot come out of it either you go there or you stay there <laughs> but there's no turning back you see therefore knowing astrology in detail i i don't mean to say that anybody who knows astrology in this world there, there are millions of people they may know astrology they may know about zodiac signs but if you know astrology properly especially once you know your own horoscope properly and you know about the transits there is no point in returning back no point means see eighth house is the house of scorpio where moon gets debilitated right therefore it means that once you get into the eighth house your mind cannot stay without it <laughs> therefore i get many people who say that oh i'm learning astrology but this problem is happening i'm getting too much obsessed i am getting i'm always seeing the transits sometimes i close my horoscope sometimes i'm seeing and those things are happening and then i'm like well <laughs> it is your responsibility now because once you know too much you can't leave anything yes and even if you leave the people who <laughs> who are connected with you because if you are seeing astrology videos then it's highly likely that people from your friend circle they will also be seeing with you right one or two friends at least so then what happens they will um, even if you leave astrology then they will pull, pull you again they will say that oh jupiter has transited into libra do you know libra is your seventh house maybe you find a partner <laughs> or maybe you get married this time and you're like oh my god i just left astrology for god's sake can you just leave me alone for some time but that cannot happen because you have entered the world of mafia once you reach here you cannot go back that is not possible if there are problems what to do that is the eighth house that is the house of problems right that is the house of depression that is why after learning astrology many people go into depression <laughs> because it is the house of ketu it takes you uh, beyond this world ketu is that outer worldly planet yes ketu tells you that look my dear sir you have to look things outside also because ketu is headless it doesn't have the head so ketu says do not see with your head you will not see <laughs> so more you learn astrology the more you will realize how much less you know <laughs> because k2 
Ketu doesn't have the head. So the more you go into the eighth house, the more you will realize how much headless you are. Yes, means that you will realize how less knowledge you have. For example, in the beginning, you may feel that, okay, I know everything. I know, okay, Saturn is exalted in Libra. Saturn is in Aquarius. It is in Multicorn sign. Very beautiful. Saturn is in the 10th house. Fabulous. Saturn is in the 6th house. Mind-blowing. But then why am I suffering in the time period of Saturn? <laughs> so many things have to be seen in astrology. So that is why when you learn in the beginning, you think that, yes, things are very simple. I know this, I know that. But gradually when you know more, you know how less you know. Should I repeat? The more you know astrology, the more you realize how less you know. <laughs> that means 8th house is like that well. It is like that dark place where you don't know where to go. <laughs> so, for many, many lifetimes you have been doing, practicing astrology. It is not that even if you are a subscriber of this channel or of any other channel of astrology, let me tell you, you do not need any way to know if you learned astrology in previous lifetimes. Take it from me, take it and take it and simply take it. You have been doing it, doing it, doing it from many, many, many lifetimes. Otherwise, it cannot happen. Just imagine what astrology is. Just, 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 just try to think for a moment. You are learning about karma. Man, come on, man. This is big. <laughs> you are learning the principle on which this material realm is working. Can you imagine? It is not a small thing. It is huge. It is massive. It is mind-blowing. <laughs> it is like, suppose there's a millionaire in a company. Suppose Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. It is like, suppose you are, who are we? We are like tiny tots in the realm of time. We are like that, uh, maybe what you say, that person who is cleaning the toilet in Facebook company. For example, if you are... If you are applying to Facebook, not for a IT job, but for a sweeping job, okay, for uh, cleaning the toilets, for example, then you get a job there. And then what happens? Suddenly you meet uh, the CEO there, Mark Zuckerberg, one day. And then what happens? He tells you that, my dear, please come, Mr. So-and-so. <laughs> Suppose I am there. He says, Mr. Bhavajit, please come. Please come, come. I will show you something today. Something very important. Something very phenomenal. And then I'm like, yes, Mark, what are you going to show to me? And then Mark says, I will show you how is Facebook working. There you see. There you go. <laughs> it is like he will show me the tune by which the company is functioning. That's what you are coming to know, actually. Whenever you are seeing the horoscope of a person, you know more than what he knows about himself. Should I repeat? Whenever you are seeing, provided you are a reasonably good astrologer, you know more about the person than he knows about himself. That is why what happens whenever we give consultations, especially with me, it happens. I ask some question to the person and the person is like, no, no, this never happened. I am not like this. I am not like that. But then I know you are like that. But you yourself don't know it. Not that you are lying to me. Not that my prediction is wrong. You yourself don't know. <laughs> For example, if somebody is uh, too much proud, it's, it's something like that. See, if somebody is too much proud, he feels he's very humble. <laughs> and a humble person feels he's very proud. You understand? Because time and again, if we read the scriptures, the holy scriptures, then we will come to know that the great souls whose names are mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in Ramayana, in Mahabharata, in the Upanishads, in the Taitari Upanishad especially, and so many other Upanishads, so many other Puranas, so many Vedas. Those who are humble, their names are mentioned as great personalities. And the only prayer they have to God is, how do I get humility? How do I give up this pride? And then there are some people in this world, like recently there was a girl who told me that, uh, <laughs> recently there was a girl who told me that a boy was there, her ex-boyfriend. And then we were just discussing about her and her relationship with the ex-boyfriend. And then she was telling me that, oh, this man is a fool. He left me. He will never get a girl like me. <laughs> she feels that 
she is the best living entity available in this world yes there you go that's a serious issue there <laughs> so similarly it's like that you 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 tell something to the person but the person says no no it's not like that but that means he himself doesn't know it or maybe he's on the other extreme that he doesn't feel like that yes therefore you come to know more about the person than the person knows about himself so it's like uh, making the person uh, opening all his clothes making him naked and you are like watching the person right it is something like that you are not watching the body you are watching the soul <laughs> from millions of lifetimes what karma he is carrying provided you know to see that therefore astrology is like the eighth house it is like mafia so once you know once you have come to know especially if you know three things what is sun moon and ascendant if you know these three ascendant if you know that's it <laughs> end of the match the story ends there if you know the ascendant that's it you know the person even if you don't know the planets you know the ascendant the match is done the game is over yes therefore if you think that once after you enter astrology you will say oh maybe i will not see transits i will not check my dasha i am sorry to say it will not happen so what is the remedy if astrology is bogging us too much sometimes the remedy is very simple we should do meditation we should do spiritual practices by which we are not in the eighth house we are actually in the house of enlightenment in the house of divinity which is the ninth house by that what happens the negativity of the eighth house will not bog us because the eighth house is 12th from the ninth house so when we have sufficient strength inside spiritually when we read scriptures like the bhagavad gita or if you are a muslim the quran or if you are a christian the bible or from any other tradition you are the recommended holy scriptures from your tradition when you read it when you meet the holy saints the sages and with whom after associating you learn from them you take enlightenment from them then what happens you realize that things are not in my control that's what astrology is trying to tell you actually why does a person get frustrated when he goes too much into astrology why it is not the problem of astrology the problem is the person thinks he is the controller but actually that's not the case because lord krishna says in the gita that i am the controller <laughs> krishna is telling he is the controller that means if you think that things will go the way you want i am sorry sir it is not going to happen so when you read the gita you will understand what astrology's purpose is so if somebody says that i will only re, uh, study astrology but i will not go deep into spirituality okay i will just want to know when i will get money when i will get a good wife or when will i get into a relationship with another handsome man or when will i marry a million dollar husband well then you might also have divorce in your chart you might also have poverty what will you do then yes if you have the good you have you might have the bad also yes you see lady dina is an epic example of this she married prince charles yes so who can be more wealthier than him maybe he's not the wealthiest person but we all know who he is yes but then she also had uh, these problems divorce and affairs whatever you call it either she was wrong or prince charles was wrong we are not going into what happened with lady dina but i am saying our life can be like her we may have the extremes of the two then what because if you get happy when you have the good then you will also be miserable when you when when things are taken away from you what will you do then well then you need a spiritual ground a spiritual basis on which you can be like the ocean as i say always or the ocean doesn't get flooded when there are rains but the river you see because it's not very deep it's relatively much less deep than the ocean there therefore it always gets flood as i say i am from assam and there's this brahmaputra river always it gets flooded too much my god but i have stayed in chennai 5 years i have not seen the indian ocean getting flooded <laughs> so there you go if you want to be stable while practicing or while learning astrology you must have a spiritual basis otherwise if you do not know the conclusion of what the scriptures are telling you because astrology is ultimately a part of spiritual journey it is not required for spiritual journey it is completely not required it is not at all required in fact but if you are somehow into it by karma <laughs> now you have come inside you cannot go away from it it simply cannot happen because it's the eighth house because once you are in you are in there's no point of return okay 
बिकॉज इट कांट हैपन सिंपली द नेचर ऑफ द एथ हाउस इज लाइक द वॉन्स यू गेट इन टू द वेल यू के नॉट गो अवे फ्रॉम इट द ओनली वे यू कैन गो आउट ऑफ इट इज इफ द गुरु कम्स एंड पुल्स यू येस हु इज द गुरु गुरु इज द नाइन्थ हाउस सो यू नीड टू हैव अ स्पिरिचुअल बेसिस इन योर लाइफ बाई विच यू कैन स्टे अनफेक्टेड बाई द डिफरेंट ट्रांजिट्स डिफरेंट दशाज दैट डजन मीन दे विल नॉट अफेक्ट यू दे विल अफेक्ट यू बट द मैग्नीट्यूड वेल रिड्यूस यू विल नॉट keep jumping when good things happen and you will not keep crying when negative things are happening to you and negative things will happen either you go to an astrologer or you don't go to an astrologer you take a consultation or you do not immaterial of that negative things will happen to you in your life it, if it can happen to lady dina who are we if it can happen to anybody any film star any cricketer any footballer anybody any uh, model then w- w- why not to us yes it can happen to anybody so that is why we need to have a very strong spiritual foundation on which we can base our astrological journey otherwise we will be in difficulty at times and as i said it is like mafia once you are in you are in for all time <laughs> <laughs> because i know i have some friends even if i don't talk about astrology they will call me and say okay today i got some new technique now this this happens then this happens that happens and then i'm like my god i thought i will not see charts or i will not see my chart and now this this fellow is giving me this technique oh let me use it in my chart and i see it works and then i'm like my god <laughs> i'm not saying i behave like that but i know people who behave like that because once you are into something people related to you also will be into it then if you don't want they will force you to get back into it okay or if you think that i will never talk about astrology it's, i am done for eternity well then wait <laughs> after some time you will again come <laughs> so do not get bogged up if you are star- if you have started learning there's no problem it's beautiful you are learning jyotish is the science of the sun yes sun god you should be proud of it in fact not you should not feel miserable about it but if it is bogging you make your foundation of jyotish on spirituality that is why it is very important that you are spiritually very strong otherwise if you are not then things will go haywire and there will be complete mayhem in your life and because it is like the mafia once you enter you know too much you cannot go out so you will be the most miserable person i know okay so save yourself don't be miserable be happy keep happy all the time until next time bye bye see you